In the previous lesson, the first two methods are only applicable to some quadratic equations. However, there is another method that works for all quadratic equations, whether it is factorable or not. With that, the next method in solving quadratic equation that we will be dealing is the completing the square. In this method, it is important to produce a perfect square trinomial so that the square root property can be applied. In this method, it is important to recall and master the first method in solving quadratic equation, which is the extracting of square root, because it is needed to apply for us the square root property, such as x squared equals 9, the roots are 3 and negative 3. Quantity x minus 2 squared equals 4, the roots are 4 and 0. 2 times quantity x minus 3 squared equals 32, the roots are 7 and negative 1. Aside from the square root property, it is also important to remember the concept of perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial is in the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, wherein the factors are quantity a plus b and quantity a plus b, or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, wherein the factors are quantity a minus b times quantity a minus b. Remember that the factor of the perfect square trinomial is the square of a binomial. Remember that a squared plus 2ab plus b, that your perfect square trinomial, the factors will be quantity a plus b times quantity a plus b. Wherein, for example, x squared minus 4x plus 4, the factors will be quantity x minus 2 times quantity x minus 2 x squared plus 8x plus 16, the factors will be quantity x plus 4 times quantity x plus 4. Next, x squared plus 22x plus 121, the factors will be quantity x plus 11 times quantity x plus 11. In this method, we will also find a third term in a quadratic trinomial that can make the trinomial a perfect square trinomial. So direction, find the third term of the trinomial to make it a perfect square trinomial. So number one, x squared plus 6x plus blank. We need to look for the third term and how to do it. Step one, determine the value of b. In our first example, the value of b is 6. Next, divide the value of b by 2. So 6 divided by 2, that's 3. Next, square the result. So 3 squared, that would be 9. And 9 will be our third term. So the new perfect square trinomial will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Example number 2 x squared minus 2x plus blank. Step 1, determine the value of b. Our b here is negative 2. Next, divide the value of b by 2. So negative 2 divided by 2, that's negative 1. Next, square the result. Negative 1 squared. The answer is 1. 1 would be our third term. At the same time, the perfect square trinomial will be x squared minus 2x plus 1. 